Hello everyone. The name Jesus is the transliteration of the Latin word Jesus or Yeshua in Hebrew. Yeshua is the name God chose for his son and it means Yahweh saves. When the angel appeared to Joseph he said, "You shall bear a son and you shall call his name Yeshua." However, Jesus has been given as many as 200 names and titles depending upon the particular way in which he is manifested or depending upon the way people experienced him. Here are some examples. Emmanuel, Christ, Lord, Master, Son of God, Son of Man, Word of God, Holy One, Judge, Savior, Rabbi, Prince of Peace, Light of the world, bread of life, bridegroom, good shepherd, lamb of God, king of kings and lord of lords, king of Israel, king of the Jews and so on. One of the titles given to Jesus is our Lord Jesus Christ, king of the universe, which has now simply become Christ the king, the name of the feast our church solemnly celebrates today this feast was established by pope pius 11th in 1925 and was originally celebrated on the last sunday of the month of october that is the sunday which immediately precedes the feast of all saints but in 1960 following the revised liturgical calendar Pope John 23 transferred the feast to the last Sunday of the liturgical year the Sunday before the first Sunday of Advent Instituting the feast Pope Pius proclaimed Pax Christi in Regno Christi which means Christ's peace through Christ's reign There was a special reason for this proclamation His purpose was to combat the growing secularism, atheism and nationalism of his time and to assert the power of Christ against the secular forces of this world. Yes, still long after the first world war, the world leaders had failed to reconcile and bring peace in the world. So Pope Pius sought the support and cooperation of all Christians. to spread the message of peace based on Christ's teaching the pope believed that we would never know peace until we surrender our lives to Jesus Christ and accept him as our god savior and king and allow him to reign in both the private and public domains of our life friends the words of the pope are still relevant today as we continue to witness the erosion of human values disunity in our families injustice in our neighborhood violence and unrest in several parts of the world the feast is both a reminder and a challenge it reminds us that jesus is the supreme ruler of our lives and it challenges us to live our lives as jesus has taught us to live In all we do we are to seek to become more like Christ for he only becomes our king when we pledge our allegiance to him In practice we often withhold that loyalty we do not make Jesus our lord and king we often declare that we do not want this man and god to reign over us all too often we all make selfish and self-serving decisions and push Jesus and his teaching to the edge we may every day be praying for peace in our life but in our hearts we still cling to selfishness greed lust jealousy envy pride egoism anger resentment hatred and other evil thoughts and desires which are enemies of peace hence recognizing Christ as our king may mean a change of heart and a more honest approach in our way of living as pope pius said 
Let Jesus reign in our minds, reign in our wills, reign in our hearts, and reign in our bodies. Let us pray. Christ Jesus, I acknowledge you as King of the universe. All that has been created has been made for you. Make full use of your rights over me. I renew the promises I made at baptism. When I renounce Satan and all his poems and works, and I promise to live a good Christian life and to do all in my power to procure the triumph of the right of God and your church. Divine Heart of Jesus, I offer you my efforts in order to obtain that all hearts may acknowledge your sacred royalty and thus the kingdom of your peace may be established throughout the universe. Amen. God bless you.